Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're going to show you how to use the Sainsbury's Smart Charge Network. Now, Sainsbury's has an interesting position in the market because they've got a very large amount of retailers in the UK, and they've got these ChemPower chargers, which are capable of 150 kilowatts DC. Now, these ones, this particular one in Kidderminster, we've got eight particular chargers, um, seven of which are CCS, and one of which is uh, Chadamo for Nissan Leafs. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the charger and charge this GWM Aura 03. Open the charge flap, plug the car in. If your car has a CCS2 port like this one, make sure to unplug both bungs. So once you've got the car plugged in, what you need to do is click on the touch screen and it will tell you to how to charge the car essentially. So there will take a 60 pounds authorization charge and you can use the little contactless reader down there, which is quite good. So I'm gonna scan my card using Apple Pay. So all you do is scan your phone and you'll see on the screen here that that will change to charging so it says authenticated it will tell you the battery state of the car which is 73 percent preparing to charge um, the aura 03 can only charge around 65 kilowatt hours or kilowatts sorry um, and this this particular charger can do 150 kilowatts so sainsbury's haven't actually made an app on here but what you can do is scan this qr code and this will allow you to put in your um, nectar car details because you do get nectar points by using these chargers. Uh, if you do use it for the very first time, you do get 10 times points on your first use. Um, along with contactless, you can always use RFID and this supports um, all start only at this stage. So what I'm gonna do here is scan the QR code and it takes you to the Smart Charge website. Um, and you, what you can do is here is add your nectar card and you can also monitor the charging. So it tells you exactly what it's doing. It'll even tell you what the, the speed is and whether or not that's the limit of the charger or the limit of the car itself. Once you've finished, stop a charge, you click on your charge here and you click on stop and the car will stop and you can plug it back in the, the cradle there. Once finished, unplug the connector from the car. So that's been a quick look how to use the Sainsbury's Smart Charge Network. This is quite unique, as I said, because you get nectar points and they've got quite a few in the UK as well. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to The Interface Cars. My name's Alex and I'll see you again next time.